One, two, three. A groundbreaking in Immokalee today will create dozens of new jobs for the community. Salazar Machine and Steel will build a 20,000 square foot building at the Immokalee Airport. Alyssa Reitmeyer was at today's ceremony and tells us why this expansion could open the door for even more jobs. With the approval of a rural development grant from the USDA, the Salazar Corporation is set to bring major growth to Immokalee. We're looking at 50 new jobs over a period of time, and that's going to be immense when you look at Immokalee and the need for full-time employment. Because agriculture is such a big part of the Immokalee community, some workers struggle when summer months come around and agriculture fades, leaving them without jobs. This is year-round work for, for local people that will be able to keep them gainfully employed, employed for many years to come. We're excited to, to create more jobs in Immokalee and see Immokalee grow. Immokalee has, has been growing for the past few years and we're expecting you know, to, for it to continue. Once the new building is complete, Salazar will move from its current space in an incubator facility, leaving room for another small business to grow in their place. The only thing we need is uh, more businesses to step up to the plate. And we're seeing more and more of them coming through all the time, showing an interest to settle here in Immokalee. Airport officials say more expansion projects like Salazar's could be on the horizon. It's, it's incremental growth, and I think that's what we're looking at with the Mockley Airport. You know, how do we generate business? You know, how do we improve the quality of life for the residents of Mockley? In Immokalee, Alyssa Reitmeyer, Wink News Now. The USDA has given more than a billion dollars in loans and grants for the rural development of Florida in the last year.